Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right. I came up with an epiphany. I was thinking about this, and I want to show you guys, and I can prove to you guys how fake the so-called Lomachenko fans is, these newfound Lomachenko fans, a.k.a., uh, you know, racist and white supremacist. So since you guys say that Lomachenko really won against Devin Haney in your eyes that he doesn't have a defeat and since he was made the number one contender the mandatory for Devin Haney's WBC belt how about you guys tell Lomachenko to go fight Tank Davis you know since he didn't lose to Devin Haney according to you guys tell him to go fight Tank Davis and then when Tank Davis knocks Lomachenko into the middle of next week and he will. I promise you guys, and this is for these people, you know, that love to play these games. They'll flip the script instantly. They'll say, oh, you know, it'll be a good fight until the bell rings. And then the final bell rings when the referee, you know, counts Lomachenko out when he doesn't make the 10 count. But then again, Lomachenko will probably be asleep. Probably after, you know, he get the four, he'll just wave the fight off and Tank will have a knockout victory over Lomachenko. You know, this is real talk. Tell Lomachenko to go fight Tank because according to you guys, he didn't lose to Devin Haney. And then when he has his fourth loss, let me tell you what these cornballs do. Oh, well, then they'll say Tank, Tank beat a guy that was coming off a loss. But... Before that, y'all would say, as far as y'all concerned, he got robbed. So, you know, it's a legitimate fight because this is what you see all the time. At the end of the day, we know what really happened. The wrong guy won. The dude with the melanin. Like I said, they already had excuses going into that fight. They were already saying, you know, um, can a, a older Lomachenko do anything with a younger Devin Haney? And then when... Devin Haney wins a close competitive fight. Then all of a sudden, everybody talked about it was a robbery. So for real, since you believe in your guy Lomachenko so much, tell him to go fight Tank Davis and see what happens. And like I say, I'm willing to <laughs> I'm willing to bet anybody some money that Tank decapitates Lomachenko. Not literally, but he'll end up just he'll end up just like Leo Santa Cruz. And I promise you, the excuses will fly. Then all of a sudden, it'll be that he lost to Devin Haney and Tank didn't have no business fighting him. And, and Tank is is a, is weak and all this stuff. I, I promise you, they'll turn. I, I prom well, they don't like Tank that much anyway because Tank a brother. But I promise you, they'll de really despise Tank. I mean, seeing Lomachenko lose to two brothers back to back. I'm talking about some of these Lomachenko fans would be on suicide watch. But for real, let's have it. Since, you know, according to you guys, Lomachenko got robbed. And since he shouldn't have a loss versus Devin Haney. Since you believe so much in your guy, let's let's see how much confidence you have in Lomachenko versus Tank Davis. I promise you when Tank knocks Lomachenko into the middle of next year. I promise you, then all of a sudden, they'll say that he lost to Devin Haney and Tank didn't have no business fighting the guy coming off a loss. I, I, I promise you, the Lomachenko fans will freak out because at the end of the day, they finicky and they fake and they all over the place. They know deep down inside Lomachenko lost that fight. But they just saying that because they just can't expect except the fact who Lomachenko lost to and what type of fighter that he lost to. But I promise you, if he fights Tank and Tank sleeps him, then they'll be saying he he lost to Devin Haney and, and Tank. They'll, they'll put the blame on Tank. They'll be confident in Lomachenko until the bell rings. <laughs> and, then, and then when they announce the winner by knockout, not TKO, knockout, Javante Tank Davis and they'll do the same thing to Tank well then again no they won't because more than likely it'll be uh, you, you know Tank will make Lomachenko come to DC or something that'll make it even more intriguing tell Tank to go fight uh, 
you, you know, tell Lomachenko to go fight Tank in D.C. or Atlanta. And I promise you will be a pro uh, pro Tank crowd. But, you know, online, they'll be coming on my channel after I just basically start talking a gang of shit after seeing Lomachenko get slept by Tank. Oh, oh, well, what you expect? Lomachenko was coming off a loss. But, 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 but hey, like I said before, you guys said he didn't lose to De Devin Haney. So tell him to go fight Tank. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to get in contact with Tank's people. I know some people that know some people. I'm going to try to get in contact with Coach. So we'll see what's up. Anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.